Tuned in to Queen TV. Greetings, Royals, and welcome back to Queen TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, please go subscribe. Click the subscribe button right now. I'll give you some time to go click the subscribe button. Okay, so I made a post on my Facebook page because I recorded this video today. I'm going to edit it today and I'm going to upload it in a few hours. And I wanted to know, you know, what people who actually watch my channel would want to hear for this episode this week. And I actually received three of the same. They want to talk about friends, the importance of friends, say friends, accountability, and, you know, how do you get say friends? So, um, let's get right into it. So, I talked about friendship, uh, I think, in the in two different episodes, I want to say. I don't remember, but if you go back down my channel, you'll see something about best friend. And, and it'll tell you more about just friendship and all of that. But um, for those of you who want safe friends and who don't know how to get safe friends, who struggling with the friends you already have, who aren't safe, and you're probably new to this walk or you've been in this walk for a little time now and you just like man I need some safe friends somebody to help hold me accountable somebody who thinks like me so friendship is just the same as relationship and I talk about that a lot you have to be on the same page you have to have friends who have the same uh, mindset as you who are kingdom minded who also um have some of the similar values as you do so they can help hold you accountable so i have three points um i always do points i don't know it's just easier to keep me under my seven minutes or under 15 minutes because really i don't want it to be that long so point number one is let go of your unsafe friends or get rid of your old safe of your unsafe friends or make room for new saved friends however you want to put it that's number one if you want to move on to the next level and you know have people who hold you accountable you have to let go of those people who aren't holding you accountable you have to let go of those people who aren't thinking the same way that you are thinking um when i first came back to memphis i pretty much stopped communicating with a lot of my college friends and it wasn't that i said I don't want to be your friend anymore but for this season in my life I cannot connect with you on that level anymore why because we do or we used to do unsaved things together we used to talk about unsaved things together we used to go places where a safe person should not be going and um you have to rid yourself of those things or you will fall back in things that you used to do. Um, when you have become a new creation, old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So you need to get new friends. Friends who are on the same path and the same journey and headed in the same direction as you. So make room for those new friends by letting some of those other friends go. And I said it in, a in the, I don't know which episode, but it does not mean that you have to be nasty about it. It does not mean that you have to say, oh, you're not saved. I can't be friends with you. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying for this season in your life, you have to let go. You have to tell them, hey, I love you. You my girl. Hey, bro, you good. But right now, at this point, if you're not trying to help me move in the direction of Christ, help me um, better myself, then you're probably not even my friend. And a lot of my friends understood that. And we're still friends to this day. We're just not we just don't do the things that we used to do together. And a lot of my friends seen my growth when I separated um, for that season. And now they begin their journey with Christ. And they um, say, oh, girl, I'm so proud of the growth in you. And I see it and I see the change and I see what God is doing in your life. So for that season, they may be upset with you. They may be mad. Oh, she don't talk to me no more. She thinks she's better and da, 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 and all of this and that. But when they see the God in you. They admire that God and you and you inspire them to receive that God as well. So read yourself, make room for new friends by letting some of the unsaved friends 
go and let them know like I'm not letting you go as a friend but in this season I'm growing and you really can't go you know you can't go in this season with me and and a lot of them will understand especially if they are real friends let's go to point number two so number two is pray for new friends once you let go of your old friends or you know make room for the new one Pray for pray for some new saved friends, and I. That's just like everything else. You pray for a finances. You pray for a shelter. You pray for peace, joy, love. Pray for some friends, and a lot of people don't want to do that because they feel like, man, that's kind of lame. That's no, it's not lame. You ask God for everything else. God, please send me some saved friends because the ones I have right now, we're not thinking the same and I don't want to go back to the way that I used to be. I don't want to go back and do the same things that I used to do. So praying for some new friends is a very, very, very important. And trust me, God will send you some new friends. Get connected with a small group, in our case, in my church, a life group, um, where you can get those safe friends. And just like you shoot your shot and everything else, hey, girl, you want to be my friend? You save, I'm saved. We newly in this walk with Christ, girl. Let's be accountability partners. And it's nothing to create or start a new friendship. But in our, and I don't know what it is, but we are afraid to do things like that. Like, you'll shoot your shot with a girl or you'll shoot your shot with a guy. Like, hey, what's up? You know, shoot your shot with a, a friend. Hey, you want to be friends? Let's be friends. Um, Let's hang out. Let's, you know, talk about some of our issues together and the good thing is a lot of people are afraid to do that but they want friends they want friends um and we weren't meant to do life alone so um get you some friends and they don't have to start off as being your very best friend but they can start off holding you accountable and y'all can grow into that it's just like elementary kids when they go to school they just walk up to people and they start friendship we got to get back to youthful things like that where we aren't afraid to do things like that you know standoffish the no new friends no new friends thing like that's not cool you can have some new friends and especially some new saved friends who are walking this thing and living this thing just as you are. And number three. Number three, number three, number three. Be honest. So once you receive what you have prayed to God for and you made room for some new friends and he has blessed you with the friends and the accountability of that new friend, it is your job to be honest. People can hold you accountable if you're living in secret, if you are dishonest, if you're not walking in integrity, if you're hiding things, then it's going to be hard to be in a friendship. Like I said, friendship is very, very similar and because it is a relationship. If you're not honest with your, your boyfriend or your girlfriend, it makes that relationship hard. And it's the same way with a friendship. I literally had to start telling my best friend everything. Because if I did not, then I, I'll be living in secrecy. And when you do that, it allows room for the enemy to come in and whisper those things like, girl, you okay, girl, that's good. You ain't, you ain't gotta tell your best friend that. Just keep, no. Because once you expose it, it's easier to talk about it. You can talk about it with that person because you have already shared it. But when you're quiet and you can't talk to anybody, anyone about it, those thoughts, they keep coming, they keep coming, and then you'll end up falling into sin. So you must be honest. You have to be honest so that person can hold you accountable. So that person can say, hey, how are you doing with this? Hey, um, what's up with the thing that you told me about, are you good? Are you okay? You need me to pray for you? You need me to come over? Like, my best friend, um, she holds me accountable. And I hold her accountable. When we're, you know, not acting like ourselves or if we feel a certain type of way, we have to think twice about something, we open our mouths and we share it. And this is another thing. When you don't let those friends go, they are either pulling you or you are pulling them. And you know, you know, you know, you know, 
Who's pulling who? So do not stay connected because, man, if I disconnect from my friend who I, whom I've known for 17 years or whom I've known for seven years or, oh, this is my college buddy, I won't have any friends and I'll be lonely and I'll be... Listen, either you, you'll be alone for a season or you'll be doing things that are not Christ-like. It's up to you to decide. Um, so... Let them go. Make room. Make room. And again, do not be nasty about it. Still show love. Still show grace. Still be nice. Be nice. Because, you know, you still have to show Christ in that. Um, so, thank y'all for tuning in. If you have any other suggestions, please comment down below. Again, y'all know what's up. I don't, I don't claim to know everything, and I'm still learning myself. So, um... Take, eat the fish and spit at the bone, you know. So, I love y'all. Christ love y'all. As always, kingdom women and men. Oh, I wanted to give y'all a scripture. Um, Proverbs 27, 17 states, it's iron sharpens iron. So a friend sharpens a friend. Or so a brother sharpens a brother. Listen, it is imperative that you make room for some safe friends so they can sharpen you. They can sharpen you and you can sharpen them. Because when you are connected with people who are not um, in agreement with what you believe, then either they are going to pull you one way or you're going to pull them away. And you know who's pulling who. So make sure that you are not in a, in a friendship that is unequally yoked. Just like a relationship. Like, I don't want friends who... You know, who don't think like me, who give, I go to you and I'm sharing something with you and you tell me to do something that's against the word of God. I don't need friends like that and I don't want friends like that. Yes, I will still be Christ-like. Yes, I will still give you the word. Yes, I'll still love you and be kind. But I don't want to hang around you and be around you and be in conversation because it's going to, it's going to take, it's going to take um something away from me. I want to sharpen you. And I want my friend to sharpen me back. But if we're thinking thinking differently and on two different paths, uh, I may have to disconnect from you from a seed for a season until I'm strong enough to be around you where you won't pull me. Um, so use that, use that, use that. That is very, very, very important. All right, bye. I'm going for real.